What's up my fans, this is Stan Series and in today's video we'll be going through some of the news we've been having since my last video and they're pretty um, interesting they are so let's get into it then so first off to start off with it's with the She-Hawk now the actress who was cast to play the character has now come out saying that the reports really um, she's denying them Saying the, uh, well, what she's saying is the, uh, she had an interview with the, um, the sub star. Well, the thingy name is S-U-D-B-U-R-Y. Well, that's the, the name, and obviously the last name is Star. She goes on to them saying, uh, that actually ate a real thing, and it's like a pass, pa yeah, pa press review that's gone out of hand. And she also says, it's totally not. I've been connected to these things in the past and past have gone on to it, but it's not actually a thing, unfortunately. And then she, got, she goes on saying, yeah, I don't know how these things get. I don't know. And then saying, I don't know. So I think she said it twice. And then she says, you know better. I have no idea. Looks like she laughed at it. So, hmm, don't know what's going on there because... I mean, we had Mark Ruffalo saying a um, welcome to the family thing, so I don't know what that is about. So, I don't know, we'll just have to wait till uh, other news, like, will Marvel say something about this, saying, oh, no, no, it is true, she is Seahawk. Next one we got, let's move to this one, is the banner for Falcon and Winter Soldier. So we got the two of them there in their uniforms. We got Captain America's shield behind them as the background. We've got their logo on the bottom left corner. And we've got the Avengers A logo on there. It looks like there's a square for Winter Soldier's color costume and one for Falcon on the bottom. Then also we got one for, there we go, the One Division as well. So let's move to the One Division now because there's a lot more they have been having since then. So we got, and their banner is like these two there. Obviously, Vision in his human form, they're in black and white color. Um, the A logo is in the same place, but obviously on there, they've got the Avengers 2 uh, colour A logo with a um, silver colour there on the square. The background is like a darkish grey, I could say, and we got the one rectangle shape, obviously with red, and then the other one's like a lighter grey. And there's these five words, which I don't recall they were on the picture when I found it, but it's been a bit since the, uh, when I put it onto my Facebook one, and it says... Um, Z A double Z L E. So okay. Now, like I said, there's others new to it. We got some merchandise out there. So we got tops. So for samples, I'll give you just a couple of samples. So we got a couple of tops. We got some Halloween theme ones with their Halloween costumes. You know, when they're dressing up as they as their comic book characters and costumes, as we saw in the trailer. They're like it's them like in the form of like a cartoon is, and there's like different versions of it, like. With different fit, obviously with different colours on it or, you know, all that. And there's one item, I don't know what this is meant to be, but on the eye, on this um, item you got Wanda's face, and but on the, obviously the other, behind it, it's like there's an, the old TV um, thing, and it's like in the form of a cartoonish thing. So, and I have no idea what this item is meant to be. I mean, I looked it up, I believe, but couldn't even find anything what it is. So... I don't know what that is. Oh, if you're wondering what that noise is, sounds like some cars going off. So, pff, cheers. Thanks for coming when I'm on the video. <laughs> Hopefully that should stop soon, but they ain't going to stop us. Right, what else we have? Yes, then we got some uh, other promo. Obviously, one with, set with their faces on their logo. Obviously, Vision's human face. Then we got another picture here, another promo, and it says... A love like you've never seen. One division with these two, obviously in their black and white look, obviously by together, and then you got a black and white picture of Scott Witch. Then we got some uh, Funko Pops, so we got black and white versions of them. There's another Vision one, but obviously you got one in these human look and one non-human look. It's similar again for these colorful versions of them. So you got. Two visions, one in his Halloween costume and one of his in actual form, you know, his Android form with human clothes. One with one doing his um, Halloween costume, well, her comic book her costume. Well, 
you know. And then one when she's pregnant, obviously she's got the kids, and obviously the the pregnant, obviously the bump is there. And then we've had some set photos lately with uh, with all of them. Looks like they've gone back to do some wee shoots. And you got one when Scarlett is wearing a reddish thingy co uh, clothes on. Uh, I heard people saying it could be part of a new costume. Mm, could be. I said. I had a thought that maybe there might be a musical number or something or some dancing going on. I'm like, because the show is meant to be weird, so I thought maybe that. Obviously, you got another, obviously the other pictures. What obviously her in this, like one of the settings of clothes. Obviously, her with a mask on. Now to that other, you know, the one I was just on about. The other thing I did say, uh, how do we not know that it could be for a romantic scene? But I don't know. I mean, they might go that far, but not that kind of far. But I mean, I wonder if for that's how they're going to say, oh, that's how she's pregnant, like, oh, she's actually, actually pregnant, like, oh, she didn't use her powers to create the kids in her body, so, I don't know, I mean, I wonder for, but, I mean, we don't, all we know is we don't know that we, obviously, Vision should not have a human, you know, a male's part, so, because he's android, so, that's very weird. Obviously, we've got Paul Bettany on the set, we've got a... Some actress, obviously, with blonde, blonde hair. Um, I don't know who that is. I know someone made a joke saying, oh, is he um, oh, Scholar Johansson, um, Black Widow? But couldn't see that. Um, you got a male actor. Um, I don't know who that's meant to be, but I'm sure someone said, oh, he could be the actor who played Quicksilver in the X-Men's universe, you know? Um, I know I heard those stories he was going to be in, that actor, but I don't know. Then we got the nosy neighbor. Obviously, who's meant uh, people are speculating she could be the ah uh, uh, that obviously that villain rich character. Obviously, obviously from the um, comics who trains uh, obviously scholar how to use her powers. Um, then we got like one with Monica. With Monica, I'm sure I'm saying the name right. Obviously, the one who becomes Spectre. Um, obviously, look wearing a red dress. So maybe uh, this is when she's in the world in Wonder's world, possibly. Now, let's move on to our next bit. Um, it's the Spider-Man now. Now, lately, this guy, um, Jamie, um, his last name is K-I-M-E-L, claiming that he's he's playing Craven the Hunter in Spider-Man 3. Excuse me. I don't see that. I mean, he, uh, the guy's a host. He is of his own show. So, uh, it's a bit weird for him to come out and say that, but I don't believe it. I, I'd say he's just messing around, really. So... I mean, if he did come out and say, oh, it's true, I'll be like, I'll be shocked. You know, I'll be completely shocked. Other Spider-Man news we've had, uh, I'll just quickly go through some of them. Net, the actor who plays Net Leeds, obviously released a photo lately of, uh, he's gone uh, thin now, so it looks like he's been doing some exercise. Pretty, um, wow, I'm pretty happy with that. He's uh, He must have thought maybe, he thought maybe he wanted to get fit, so he thought, well, with Colbert going around and everything, we ain't doing much. It's time to do it. I mean, I'm not saying that he was lazy like when none of this was happening. He didn't want to do it. No, I ain't putting it like that. No, 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 no. I'm not I'm not like that, so I'm just saying. But I'm sure, I think some people have been saying, hmm, could he, uh, is he be doing this? Because he might be becoming a hog goblin because obviously his character is net leads. And, um, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how that will work in the film because he's friends with Peter and he's got nothing against Peter. So, well, not as we know of yet. So, Maybe in the third film, maybe something goes wrong and maybe something happens. He gets angry with Pete and he's like, why? I'm going to become Hog Goblin. But I couldn't see it that way. Now let's get into some rumour mills from this, obviously for Spider-Man 3. First off, the actor who plays Venom, Tom Hardy. If I've said his name right, his last name right. I keep getting confused with Tom Hardy and Tom Hardy. Well, no, actually, that should not be difficult, but <laughs> forget forget what I said there. But it says about the um, him making a... It sounds like rumours he could be, obviously, to star in Spider-Man 3. Possible. Possible. But, um, I don't know about that. Hmm. There's a rumour going around saying about, Andrew, I mean, Tony McGuire and Andrew Garfield signed on for Spider-Man 3. There was rumours about that, that they have been, they've been signed. But then another article came out, obviously, some time later, like nine hours ago, saying that it's only casting rumours. So, they might not have been cast to come back into the film as their Spider-Mans, but... Don't know. Um, then another rumor mill is the uh, they've cast a live action version of Mars Morales. I mean, that'd be cool because we know there's a Mars Morales in this universe, the MCU. The power brought him up, and 
like I've, uh, I think I've said this before on YouTube, if he survived the snap and he didn't get dusted, that would have sprained because obviously in homecoming it sounded like he was a bit young and if he survived the snap and didn't get dusted, obviously he would have grown up and whatever age he must have been at that time, he might have grown to be maybe Peter Parker's age, you know, at that time, you know, because I don't think they ever said what his age was in homecoming, so, but I think he was like young, I don't know if he was around 10 or something, but Maybe they might get someone who maybe who's two years younger than Peter, but well, well, the character would be like two years younger or older. I don't know. Possible. Then another woman male is a Spider-Man villain, uh, Doctor Spectre. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, S P E N C E R. Uh, then his last name is S M Y T H E. Obviously, uh, this villain he was a um, he's the guy who creates the um, Spider Slayers. Hmm, really interesting if he is in the film, because I was doing Peter's identities out there, and maybe with people through the years who might have been against Spider-Man, you know, saying, oh, you didn't do this, you didn't do that, maybe they, um, and obviously now with Peter's identities out there, and maybe they're like, obviously people know who it is, maybe the government's not happy about that, obviously thought about that as well, and thought, well, it's best sir, we stop him now, obviously, even if he's trying to help us, he might cause some damage, so we thought, Let's put some spiders. Let's get someone's crazy spider slayers to hunt him down, or or to use them to replace Spider Man. I don't know, but it'll work both ways. So that would be interesting, and we um, we sort of had a live action version of this, but we had the son apparently in the Amazing Spider Man Two. Don't recall that because I don't want to remember that film really. Really, from these now these rumor mills for the spider slayer one that might be cool uh, for the. Uh, for the, um, I was in Ned Lee's one. That's interesting. Like, the other ones, the ones that have rumour mills, like the Venom one, the Andrew Garfield and Tony Maguire one, um, and also the, obviously the, um, Mars Rammers one. Um, the Mars Rammers one, I, I mean, it sounds like they, I think they've got to go, I think it sounds like the casting one for the MCU version, not a live-action version of the, of the one from the animated film universe one. But, I don't know, I mean, that's what it sounds like them casting for. Well, the, that's what the women want to say. But, like, the others, like Venom and Andrew Garfield and Spider-Man, uh, if they do, obviously, confirm and send them in it, obviously, uh, that tells us more. It is a Spider-Verse Spider film, which I'm still waiting on if they're going to confirm it. Uh, oh, and then, other thing is, I've heard, it looks like they've started filming. Uh, they put some signs around to say they're filming. I think they said they're filming in Queens, they said, so... I um I don't know, and obviously back to when I to when I'm saying about Craven, but it also looks like in that in the title article it says about so it's pop property Matt Damon. So I don't know I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if someone's been saying could it be, could Matt Damon play him? Um, my favorite um, fan cast I would have as Craven is the actor from Three Hundred, our main guy. Well, he's the main guy from the um, has four in the fan oh, trilogy. You know the uh, Olympus, um, London, and Angel, yeah, that franchise, the main guy in that. Um, I've always imagined him as him, but... I mean, he's got the look, and uh, I've heard he's um, he's from Scotland, because I'm, I'm trying to recall now, I could get it up while I'm here. I'm sure they, um, the character Craven, I'm sure he lives in a... Obviously, because he deals with animals, so I think he's from Australia, I believe. Uh, if I could quickly have a look. Blah, 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 blah. Let me see. I'm pretty sure he's from... Yeah, I believe he's... Um... Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember now. I think he's around, like, in Russia, yeah. He's, like, um, a what? I think he's supposed to be... Well, he's somewhere around that. I've heard stories of where he's from, really. But, obviously, when he deals with animals, he's many... Um... I know in one anime version I saw him, he was in Australia doing that. And I always thought, you know, he's from Australia or Africa. Well, you know... You know, well, anyway, you know, one of the, obviously, uh, the country's got, an when he hunts animals in the wild. But, yeah, that could be, I mean, I've always, like I said, imagine that guy, and obviously, I'm hoping if he, do, if he does cast hit, they do cast him. I'm hoping he does the best of the character, and I think it'd be cool. And I think that's so on here, so I think that's everything covered, so. Uh, all these, they'll be linked down in the description below. Leave your comments down below, what you think of them. Um. Uh, Give your fan cast of who you want as the one for Craven. I like to hear them, really. I want to hear the who your 
who you've always imagined to be Kraven in live action. Um, now, also that image I said about that item for the Wonder Vision, the Wonder Vision one, the circle thing. If you know what that is, let me know down in the description because I want to know what the heck that is. Because I've got no clue. I tried to look for it, but none as I could see. And like for the other ones, give your thoughts about them as well. Um, give this a thumbs up if you like the video. Share this out to your friends. So if they want to watch someone different for once, show them one of my videos. And if they like it, they can subscribe to my channel. And if you're new to this channel, this is what I do. I do the Marvel and Transformers Cinematic Universe news. That goes with the trailers, Super Bowl TV spots, clips, if I ever do one again. And spoiler reviews, but only the film side on the MCU and the Transformers one. I do uh, non -spo Obviously, I don't do spoiler kind of trailers and, well, clips, TV spot ones, you know. And like the spoiler reviews, I might do the um, Disney Plus Marvel ones, but I don't know. I haven't really decided that yet. And, oh yeah, last but not least, uh, if you want to see me last more video, click here, my channel. Make sure you click the bell, so we can know if I have a new video as well. And jump here to me, last Transformers video. The only thing I've heard lately now, they've got a film for 2022 for a Transformers film in summer. I didn't bother to make a video because I don't think there was much to go on. Well, I could have done like theories what it could be, but I've always spoke about what films, obviously films are, they talk about bringing out, uh, obviously in, in future years I, I've heard. So that's it really guys. So I hope you enjoyed this um, news video of today. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Peace.